gizmo here. Finally out. We're finally out doing a trip. Me and Mark are heading. Oh, a bit bumpy this way. <laughs> Me and Mark are heading out to uh, Frog Buttress today to do a bit of abseiling and rock climbing. Should be good. We're finally allowed. This virus has kept us indoors. We can't wait. Woohoo! <laughs> there it is. That's our mountain. Frog buttress. We're now heading up with our gear to find these cliffs. Look at this, um, this wire stretched across here. Okay, we're gearing up, ready for the day. Mark's putting his harness on. I got mine on. He's, got, he's putting his on now. Um, yeah, we'll just go through our double checks and everything. Go from there. <laughs> um, well, we spent the morning out at Frog Buttress, and while it was nice, it's not really for top roping. We discovered there's too many loose rocks at the top, so we uh, gave that a miss, and we've come to a quiet little place away from everybody. We don't have to worry about knocking rocks down on anybody, and we'll just have a little bit of a practice day here. <laughs> Right, what Mark's practicing today is he's practicing to do a rappel without a backup. And why would you want to do that? Well, you might just happen to drop your backup down the down the mountain and you still need to rappel. You need to know how to abseil without a backup safely. This is how we used to do it years ago. We never had backup, but now we, he's gonna practice without a backup. So yeah, off you go.
there's times you might need to repel without a backup or a glove all those types of scenarios you need to practice because one day it just might happen normally when we're doing a big repel like this without a backup there would usually be someone down the bottom belaying you and uh, if anything goes wrong they belay you and you see Mark doesn't have gloves on his hands get really hot but you gotta practice these things because you never know what might happen here just a slow steady pace without gloves on is not too difficult you just keep control of what you're doing and you should be right Favourite shoes in the world. I haven't worn these climbing shoes for a good while and if you've ever worn climbing shoes before they have to be a really snug fit on your foot and that starts to get painful after a while. We, we spend the day here just practicing our skills. We do a little bit of rock climbing and a little bit of rescue work, just refining things that we need to practice that everyone needs to practice now and again. Um, and it was good fun. Yeah, yeah, so as soon as you touch that, it's yeah. over. Yeah, so no, no, no. <laughs>